Here Monday night, last Monday night game of the year. Bills angling for the number one seed in the AFC. Bengals can win the division with some help if the Ravens were to lose on Sunday night. Bengals still do have a shot, obviously, at the number one overall seed as well, but have to win this one. Mike Giardi, Brian Balding are with me now. Mike, start with you and the Bills. What do they have to do for success on offense against a very good or improved Bengals defense? Throw the ball. Throw the ball against the Cincinnati defense that, look, they're without their top corner. Chidobe Awuzie done for the season with that torn ACL. They made Mac Jones and that Patriot offense, which I've talked about basically all year long about how not good they've looked, made them look pretty good in the second half as well. So to me, it's about Josh Allen having the freedom to do what he does. But it's also about feeding Stefan Diggs. I, this is kind of crazy to think about because Diggs is one of the best receivers in the National Football League. Definitely in the top five without question. He hasn't had a 100-yard game since week 10, and his targets have gone way down over the last six weeks. He was averaging 11 targets per game over those first 10 weeks, 7.5 since, and he's coming off a two-catch, 26-yard game against Chicago. I know the weather was poor, but they still threw the ball pretty well to Gabe Davis in that game and to Dawson Knox. So while he gets the attention and it's helped free up some room for the other guys, you still want to get the ball to one of your best players, and he is an elite playmaker. I know it's a little bit of frustration from him, but as he said, we keep winning. That's all that matters. By the way, not practicing today. He has an illness, but someone that if he's healthy, you want to feature and feed the ball.